even the best cutting boards slip around sometimes. And that's why we tested cutting board stabilizers. Now you can always use a wet paper towel or a dish towel under the boards, but these gadgets could be easier and they could let us skip the soggy countertop. We tried five models, a set of these clip-on feet and four mats. They're priced from about $3 to around $41. And we use them to stabilize wood and plastic boards on all different types of counters. The bad news, these silly little feet called the Dream Farm Chobs, they're super tight and hard to put on. And even once you get them on, it's a problem. They raise the board up too high, so it's like a trampoline when you're chopping. Look at this. Forget it. Now, some of these mats were too thick or too narrow, so we had a board that rocked back and forth. And cleaning some of these, totally annoying. This one's like a grippy Lego surface, and we were picking parsley off it forever, even after it went through the dishwasher. Our favorite was the Architect Smart Mat. Now, this did a great job of keeping cutting boards of all materials from sliding around on all types of counters. And because it's made up of these little rings, it was pretty easy to clean. It's thin, it's flexible, so it's simple to store. And if you've never used a cutting board stabilizer, you should. It feels great and so secure. And at just under $16, it's a relatively small price to pay to never have to worry about your cutting board slipping ever again. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.